Hi there, in this screencast I'm going to show you how to position the ball and um, the cup and the sand trap on the screen in random locations. Okay, so uh, we need to remember that the upper left hand corner of the screen of a video game, or in this case it's the upper left hand corner of uh, the canvas of this app, it has coordinate 0, 0. And as you go down the screen, uh, the Y coordinate gets bigger and bigger in a positive direction. And as you go to the right, uh, the Y X coordinate gets bigger and bigger. So that means, um, in this case, we have like 320 pixels going across the screen and I, th I think around 350 going downward. So we're going to create random Y values and position, reposition each of the two ball sprites and the image sprite in those positions. So I'm going to um, try to place the cup in the upper one third of the screen. The sand trap maybe in the middle one third to a little bit more than that and the golf ball uh, in the bottom in a random location. So let me go into the blocks editor. Now I want uh, when the game launches, I want these random lo I want already those three things to be in a random location. So the way uh, you get code to execute right when the uh, launch or uh, app launches is you go to the screen um, uh, block and you create an initialize um, event event. So the initialize event runs as just when this uh, app launches. So I'm going to need to set the X and Y coordinates for each of the holes as well as the sprite, um, the sand trap sprite. So I'm going to do, uh, let's see, I want that. So golf ball, there we go. I'm going to do set X and set Y and uh, set X let's see, no I hit the wrong one and this will be the cup and then lastly, the sand trap. Set X and set Y. Okay, so in all cases, uh, for all three of those, I for the X value, I want them to be random values between 0 and 300. Uh, I'll say 300. Uh, that'll give me a, a, a little bit room to the right. And keep in mind that that X coordinate and that Y coordinate are the upper left hand corner of uh, my image sprites and balls. So for the ball I'm going to do, um, I'm going to go to the math tab and up at the very near the top there's this block. So I'm going to generate a random number between 1 and 300 for the ball and the cup Uh, and the sand trap's just a little bit different. It's 200 pixels wide and 100 tall, so I want to leave enough room for it not to go off the screen. So let me just do 250 for the top left edge of it. All right, so now for the Y values. Uh, for the golf ball, I want it to be about somewhere in the upper one-third of the screen. So the upper one-third of the screen has a Y coordinate somewhere between 0 and about 100. So I'm going to generate a random number between 1 and 100. Uh, for the, no I'm sorry, that's the cup. Uh, the cup is somewhere between 1 and 100. Um, then the golf ball I'm going to do between like 200 uh, let's do 300 and 350. That'll put it within 50 pixels of the bottom of the screen. And then lastly, the sand trap, I want somewhere kind of in the middle. So I'm going to generate a random Y value that is somewhere between, um, uh, let's see, maybe we'll do 100 and 
uh, to, and let's let's try 75 and 250. Okay, um, now um, if you think about it, I'm going to have to call this over and over again every time um, um, somebody flings the ball. So rather than have to have this exist in code twice, I'm going to make a procedure for it, much like we made procedures in tic-tac-toe. So and I'm going to call this new hole. Okay, so let me move this all, actually, this whole block over to new hole. And then the, my initialize method is going to call new hole. Okay, there's one last thing I'm going to do with the sand trap, and that is I'm going to orient it in a random direction. So if you remember, image sprites and balls um, both have a heading property. So I'm going to set, uh, and that means which direction the thing is pointing to. So I'm going to do um, uh, sand trap heading, and I'm going to also set it to a random integer value. And in this case, it would be somewhere between 1 and, one and 360. Okay, so now uh, whenever uh, somebody flings the ball and they, the ball goes into the hole, um, I'm going to immediately reposition all of the sprites um, on the screen into new random locations so they can start a new hole.